hello everyone this is mr. random and in this video I am going to show you how I install lamp on my rocky Linux headless server headless means it's just the server there's no GUI installed so I'm going to install this in the command line I am using a, a guide I'm going to post the link to the guide that I use to give credit to the author I've done this before on different operating systems and I've out of all the ones that I've done it on I think uh, I think uh, CentOS was my favorite one to do it on except for when it came to the SE Linux permissions which I, I hated messing with that but we'll, we'll get to that when we get to that so the first thing we want to do is whenever you're typing in commands you're gonna to want to hit sudo and do the command me I just log in as root um, well, I log in and then I change to root. So I hate typing in sudo every single time or whatever. So we're gonna make sure we're up to date. So I'm gonna use yum. I use that all the time to do run commands. But in the instructions, it says to use DNF. Technically, DNF and yum are the same thing as far as I'm trying to make it simple. DNF is, is the, the current uh, way of doing this but yum was around for decades or a decade or two so what happens is when you type in yum the computer will automatically substitute DNF in the background for you and uh, not to get it more complicated than that but this that's how simply it does that okay so we won't get too advanced into that there's other things to it so anyways yum upgrade okay so all that's good so then we want to, first thing we want to do is install the, the web server. Now here's a trick. If you do dash Y, that means go ahead and answer yes to whatever questions you have. Then if we do the little and sign, that means to go ahead and, follow, and process this command and have it running in the background so we can do other things. That way we won't be stuck on the waiting to finish command for example see it started the job and it's doing it and you're like oh man it's sticking on my screen I can't do anything else no you, you can you still have access to the what you call it the command line so that's done that's just a tip so now we want to enable and start the server so we'll do dash what is it dash dash now Is it now? I guess. I don't remember. I'm doing it from memory. Okay. Okay. What? System. Oh, I got the system control enable. Oh my god. Okay, I'm an idiot, sorry. There we go. System control enable dash dash now HTTP. So what that does is enables the service and it starts it at the same time. So what enable means is that if we were to restart the server, when the server starts up or restarts, it'll start up that service automatically. If you don't enable it, it's not going to start it up automatically. And if you want to check on any of these services to make sure they're running, all you got to do is system control, status, and we'll do like HTTPD, and see it's running. If there was any kind of errors, it would tell us there, stuff like that. So it's listing on port 80, which is normal. So, clear that out. And just for, for grins, we'll type in uh, what's the IP address here? So it's 155. So technically, we should see the. I 
Apache server running if it is running. Now my firewalls and stuff might not let me continue to it, but it is running though. Okay, well I know it's running. My firewall won't let me reach it, but this is what you, what you see. I'll show you a description of what you're going to see, which is this. That's what you would see. But again, you're not going to see it on mine because my firewall is blocking it and my security stuff. Now we're going to install PHP. So for this, we want to show what modules are set up. So the latest one is PHP 8, and the example is just to do PHP 4, 7.4, but we're going to do 8. Now you can do 7.4 just like the example scripts or the tutorial, whatever, but I'm going to do 8 because that's how I roll. Yes done and then we want to install PHP yes install. and then after it's done installing we're gonna check the version there it goes so this we also want to Enable it like we did the other service. Enable PHP. Well, no, PHP FPM. There we go. Clear all that out. Now we want to install our SQL Server, which is MariaDB. Now you don't have to install MariaDB, you can install what is it, SQL 8. I'm going to install MariaDB because I'm used to using that and I've always used it for years and I know there's pros and cons about it, I don't get me started on it. So, so install. Yes. Alright, so going pretty quick so and it's done so clear that out and then we're gonna enable it system control enable dash dash now Maria DB engage engage there we go now we want to run the script is my SQL underscore secure score installation basically what this does is it hardens the install so we don't have a password yet so we're gonna enter just hit enter would we like to set a root password yes and make sure you set something that you're gonna remember something difficult a difficult password that's hard to hack Okay, remove anonymous users, yes. Disable root login remotely, yes. Test databases and access, remove that, yes. Reload, yes. Alright, done with that. Clear that crap out. Now, that's, that's pretty much it. That's how quick it was. That's the quick install on how to install LAMP on Rocky 8. And I will also do another video on how to install WordPress on, on Rocky 8, which will be the next one after this. So, if you have any questions, please leave a comment. If you have suggestions, please leave a comment. If you need extra help, then I'll leave my link on a Discord channel. You can reach me there or you can just leave a comment. I'll be more than happy to help in whatever I can. Please follow and subscribe. I 
trying to build up my channel. I'm randomly doing all kinds of things, tech things, blogging, all kinds of crazy stuff that I get into, random stuff. Anyways, thanks. Love you.